Okay guys, now that we have yung ating mga object o yung ating mga model to identify yung ating mga area, we can now proceed dun sa polishing natin, dun sa final coating. So, so let's say we will start dun sa ating mga walls. So, dun sa ating in model, so choose lang tayo ng gagamitin natin. Apply natin tong colors. Then, let's say we will use this color. Then, i parang ipipaint lang natin siya doon. Yan. Nakita nyo naman na nag-iba na yung kulay niya doon sa walls niya. And then, naman sa kanyang ground, pwede natin gamitin itong landscaping. Yan. Meron na tayong kulay sa ating mga walls. So, let's proceed naman dun sa mga ibang area. Okay guys, now that we have our coating, yung ating color sa ating mga rooms and then sa ating mga walls. Now, uh, we can proceed now guys. So parang mas maging smooth yung texture niya. We can go to view. Then, punta tayo dun sa kanyang mga edge style. Then, i-unclick lang natin to. Yan, kung mapapansin nyo, so medyo naging smooth yung yung texture niya at nawala yung ibang mga lines. So, para mas lalo pa siya maging smooth, i-click din lang natin tong i-click lang din natin tong profiles. Now, you can see guys na mukha ng realistic yung ating structural. Yeah. By the way guys, you can create your own design ha, lalong lalo na doon sa ating pagkocoating ng ating mga area. Okay? Then, pwede na natin siyang save or export if you want 3D model para ma-edit din natin siya sa ating SketchUp or you can export it to 2D graphic para maging Um, para maging image type siya. Then let's say ito yung ating front area. Then export natin. Then let's say ito yung ating top. Export lang din natin to the graphic sa ito yung ating top area ayan then on the view tab din guys so pwede rin natin siyang magawa na para makita natin yung loob pwede rin natin magawa siya ng ibang texture so let's say para makita natin pinaka loob niya kahit nasa labas tayo we can use the x-ray Now, as you can see guys, so kahit nasa labas ka, may kita natin yung loob ng ating structural. Okay. Then for the animation guys, so para makagawa naman tayo ng video, oh, we can walk to dun sa ating structural we can do the animation so punta tayo dun sa view natin then go dun sa animation then add scene then tatanungin kayo if you want to save as a new style then create scene lang natin so ito yung pinaka first scene natin then gagawa tayo ng another position natin para dun sa ating second scene then go to view 
then add scene okay then another position then dun sa view then add scene okay now let us check yung ating animation so scene 1 then yung scene 2 okay then yung scene 3 so guys now that we have our animation scene tinan natin siyang ma-save as video file so go lang tayo dun sa file natin then export then yung animation then yung video then we can save it on the mp4 video type then lagay lang natin kung anong gusto natin file eh. let's say for example ito yung ating animation for area okay then save lang natin siya export dun sa file na kung saan natin siya gustong ilagay and then let's wait for a while so now that we have done exporting so try natin i-check kung talaga na-export yung ating video animation Now we can generate our report. We have our 2D images and then we have our video animation. So guys, we have done on our tutorial for 3D modeling. So I hope marami kayo natutunan sa aking tutorial and you are now ready to create your own design and structural using your own SketchUp. For more learning guys regarding sa mga software and other application, for graphic designing and video making uh, please um, subscribe to my youtube account maraming maraming salamat po